What's going on everybody? This is AZ Sports Cards back at it. I am currently driving to Chandler's Flea Market in Sayre, Pennsylvania. Uh, I had a guy reach out and tell me that he has some sports memorabilia, some sports cards set up there today. Uh, they are open on Fridays and Saturdays and this is at 9.26 in the morning. I'm going to go see what he has and show it off and hopefully we find some hidden gems. I'm Usually not finding anything really great in Sayre other than Walmart, but hey, today might be the day. We're pulling on, we're pulling up onto it right now. That's a nice class. Yeah, if you know anybody that's into non-rookies, like I said, I, I, you know, the top players, oh, I, five, six dollar cards, I sell them for a buck. Oh, yeah. I know, you know, people... In that book I, of Nolan Ryan, there's five to ten dollars Yeah, cards. I know people on uh, YouTube that, you know, just yeah. love Nolan Ryan, love the cards. And, yeah. you know, I got people like Derek Jeter, guys, like, there's a whole Derek Jeter book. Yeah, yeah. You got a nice setup. Oh, I forgot about ask about these. I gotta ask about these too. All right, we are back from Chandler's Flea Market in Sayre. All out honesty, 
I was pleasantly surprised with all the cards I found. Uh, I found some great PC people, uh, some good Giants players, some uh, guys I didn't even have on my radar, and uh, the guy I was, whose cards these were, who had the memorabilia, very nice, very uh, reasonable, and let's let's just show you what I got. So the first big thing, and it's not a card, and I'm going to try to get it all on screen. Uh, I'll probably have to angle the camera up a little bit, if I can. There we go. We have a awesome Funko Pop of LeBron. Had to get this one. It was only 20 bucks. Uh, I don't really buy this sort of things. I usually stick to cards, but I saw this and I was like, this is too cool not to have, right? I could put it in my basement. It's not mint, of course. There's a little scratch on LeBron's face right there, making him look like Kratos. But <laughs> it's it's cool. It's a cool thing to have. Uh, it's from 2000. Uh, I usually see the Funko Pops like this big, really small. This is a giant one he had, 35 listed, uh, only at Walmart. Uh, I got it for 20 bucks. I couldn't beat it. Uh, just, you know, the goat of my generation, let's say, um, in his Laker jersey. So, pretty sweet. Pretty sweet card. Or not card. Pretty sweet item to have now. Uh, I might put it in my basement. I might leave it in my card room. We will see. We'll see. But that is super cool. Well, let's get to the cards. Let's get to the reason I went to Chandler's. I'm glad I reached out on Facebook to the man whose setup was there. He had some great stuff. Older gentleman. Uh, some great cards, though. So let's take a look. So I ended up spending about 45 bucks. Really good deals. Uh, it was 65 but I had an Ed 2 Tall Jones rookie card. And I already had one, so I was like, I don't really need this. Um, fair price on it. I just didn't want to keep buying cards to buy cards. But lots of cool stuff. So the first one we got from Chandler's. We have an Aaron Rodgers, Rookie of the Year Predictor. So this was cool. I think this is an old redemption. Yeah, one NFL autograph when you submit this rookie card. The expiration date's gone, but just see Aaron Rodgers, Rookie Year. Pretty cool. Pretty cool card to have in my possession. Uh, we have a Navarro. Navarro Bowman. Or Bowman. Bowman. Navarro Bowman for the 49ers. Multi-time Pearl Bowler. For the 49ers. So did not have this guy. Any of his cards really. And I'm a defense guy. So had to pick this one up. I like the sticker on the helmet. I'm always a little partial to those type of cards. A uh, little vintage. We've got a Randy Cross. Another multi-time pro bowler. Defensive guy. Oh not defensive guy. Uh, center. Yeah pretty good pricing on him. We have a Bob. What is it? Baumhauer. Bauhauer, I think I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, not a Hall of Famer. These guys aren't Hall of Famers yet, but they're, you know, multi-time Pro Bowlers. I keep saying it because they were really good players, and hopefully maybe someday they do get into the Hall of Fame. So uh, I picked that one out. That was pretty good. This was a sweet one, too. We have an Atomic, Patrick Willis. Patrick Willis, one of my guys growing up. Really liked him on defense. So this is the Atomic pra uh, Patrick Willis. Pretty good find there. Go ahead, a couple Eli Manning rookies just laying around. We have this Eli Manning rookie from the uh, upper deck. So this is a rookie prospects. Very cool looking card. I like that one. I like seeing that one. Uh, but this was the, probably the biggest one. We have a first edition Eli Manning Bowman rookie card. So this is a nice one. Not a reprint. Always have to check because there's usually a reprint down here if it is. Uh, his, his cards have been reprinted before and I've been burnt on that. But the first edition is super cool. I like to look at that. I think I have a regular one, not first edition. Another card that was surprising to find. We have a Kevin Boss. Uh, if you don't know who Kevin Boss is, he was a tight end for the Giants. Not the longest stint with them, uh, but I just remember he got hit so hard uh, when he was running his routes and stuff. And this is numbered out of 199, so... Not probably, he's probably not going to be anything huge, nothing more than like a one dollar, two dollar card, but still a guy I enjoyed watching. And there are some Giants collectors out there who know Kevin Boss, and they they have the same opinion of me. I mean, he got he got popped when he ran his routes. It was like every game. This is a sneaky great card, Larry Allen. I remember I was looking for a Larry Allen card for what seemed like months back in like two thousand and two, two uh, probably two thousand twenty. A um, couple years back, but found this one so I can end up trading this or maybe getting graded. It is in great shape. 
maybe the corners aren't the best, but for the centering and the surfaces, the cards are in great shape. This was a sneaky find, too. We have a Jason Witten Rookie Hogs from Playoff. These cards go about 45 graded. Uh, I got this end up for like a lot less than that. Like 45 for this whole stack. That really good deals. Um, yeah, awesome looking card. Did not see this. It has a good texture on it. Uh, never seen that rookie card before, but it's pretty sweet. We have a Steve Smith rookie card. Nice Steve Smith. Did not have this one. So I had to grab that. Nice Steve Smith. Looking at it, I know I made a mistake because I thought it was the wide receiver. It is not. It is a safety. So that is uh, my bad. I just realized that. I'm usually good for one mistake per card video. and of course, One uh, card buy. So not the best one. It was in the Steve Smith section. Uh, and I, I should know because there are many people named Steve Smith. This is a nice one. Michael Thomas, press proof. Probably the best wide receiver to come from the 2016 draft class. Uh, so I have an autograph of Michael Thomas right now. Did not have the press proof. So I just grabbed that one. That was pretty sweet. This is a cool one. Uh, not the biggest name, Joe Flacco, but it's from the National Sports, uh, Sports Collectors Convention. So the National. Very cool. Probably came out in National Packs. Someone ripped and got this pack, uh, this card. Um, but Joe Flacco, okay career. But still, just to get a card from the National, pretty sweet. This is a nice one for us Giants fans. We have a Tiki Barber rookie preview from Skybox. Skybox Premium. Very cool. It is textured on the rookie uh, like the rookie word. Uh, it is elevated, so that was awesome. Uh, not the most expensive card, but you know, growing up, Tiki Barber was the guy. So, had to get that one. We have a Steve Nash from uh, Top's Finest Air. So, this is a nice rookie card for him. A uh, little surface scratching, nothing too crazy. Not going to get this card graded, but one of his better rookie cards, I would think. So he has his collegiate record there. Nice rookie card. Uh, we have a Jason Pierre-Paul. I was not sure if I had this one in my collection or not. Um, great defensive player. I think I definitely have the regular tops, but did not know if I had the chrome. Uh, so for like a buck, I'll take a risk on it. Eric Allen, very good defensive player for the Eagles, cornerback. So this is his rookie. His cards don't sell for a lot, but uh, he might be a Hall of Famer someday. So uh, I'll take a dollar risk on that. We'll see if he works out when it goes in the Hall of Fame. Stanley Morgan, wide receiver for the Patriots. Another multi-time pro bowler. We'll see how his uh, campaign for the Hall of Fame goes. He's not currently in the Hall of Fame, but you know, for these multi-time pro bowlers, I'll have them in my collection. That's fine with me. I mean, if you make the Pro Bowl at least once, you, you deserve a little spot. This is a nice surprise, uh, Travis Kelsey. So we got some vintage and we got some newer guys. So Travis Kelsey from 2013 score. Not his biggest name, rookies, but when you have a chance to get a Travis Kelsey rookie, you tend to get it. And this is probably my favorite card from Chandler's Flea Market. We have a nice Wes Welker patch from 2004 this is so cool i liked west walker uh he had a good stint with the patriots he was also a dolphin uh when he was drafted uh, good player uh, another guy who's i don't i don't even know he made the pro bowl but just a guy i enjoyed watching and my wife really likes him so uh just had to get that i mean five dollar card at the most from comps nothing too crazy but just one of those cool players that hurt the bills for many many years so had to get that very cool. So that was all the cards I picked up from Chandler's Flea Market. They are open Fridays and Saturdays in Sayre, Pennsylvania. So I, I think I touched upon that when my car ride. But check them out if you're available on those days. Uh, I also went to a trade show at Around the Horn Cards and Collectibles. Very, really good guys. Uh, it was a lot more people than usual. Uh, I think we had about... Seven people trading. Uh, there were some young kids, so I, I thought better than just to film it and film some deals. Uh, I, it probably would have been fine if I you know, asked and they showed you it on the spot, but I'll just show you what exactly I picked up. I don't remember exactly all the cards I traded for these. Uh, that's when videotaping really comes in handy, but I can just show you what cards I brought home. So We have a Calvin Johnson. Calvin Johnson Bowman Chrome. Very cool. Did not have this one in my collection. 
uh, you know, Hall of Fame wide receiver. Had to pick that one up. Very cool. I like the look of these Bowman Chrome cards. This is probably one of the bigger ones I got. We have a Tyreek Hill purple optic. Tyreek Hill, one of the best wide receivers in the NFL. So, had to get that one. I think he's doing some stuff with um, the Olympics and sprinting right now. But, very cool. Had to pick this one up in a trade. I think I traded some, like an Austin Riley, Bowman, Chrome, uh, Max Freed autograph, on card. Um, and some, some other lesser baseball rookies. Uh, nothing too big, but these cards are sweet. I was definitely going for cards I needed. I wasn't just trading cards to trade cards. Um, and I had a really big deal at the end, and I'll talk about that. Uh, this was from a younger dealer. I think he was in second grade. Yeah, I traded him some you know, some good stuff, uh, some good name players for him, and he had some good stuff too, so we worked out a little good trade here. Uh, I got an A.J. Brown patch from Prism. Like, look at that. We had a lot of A.J. Brown this year. He had a great year, so I had to pick that one up. We have an elite, Wandale Robinson, uh, $3.99. Good looking card there. And then we have an Alec Pierce at a 75. So I'm always surprised how good kids have it nowadays with their collections. I remember uh, my dad never took me to card shows. I would help him with uh, bottles and cans and I'd get half the money. I'd get, get those $10 that I would have and go to a card shop and look through their dollar bin and find some good name players that I liked. Um, and that was, that was where my cards came from. And of course I begged them mercifully mercifully i don't think that's the right word but i begged them a lot when we went to walmart just for a pack of cards or a box of cards and they got annoyed with me asking every time we went to walmart so uh but the kids nowadays have cards like this they have things in you know top loaders and you know one-on-ones it's just really cool to see how you know kids nowadays collect it's really interesting but nice alec pierce this is a nice trade too i got a two card lot i don't remember what exactly i traded for it um yeah, this is from a gentleman. He had to leave a little early, but I don't remember exactly what I got from him or what he got from me. Uh, I don't think it was anything cr too crazy, but it might have been some nice stuff. I can't remember, but I picked up an Andres uh, Jimenez. He was the all MLB team this year. Uh, rookie card. I have a pre-rookie card auto, so I might trade that one out now and have this one. But this is from Mosaic. Really nice. Nice looking card. Not his biggest rookie. There was a really nice uh, Jimenez uh Mets rookie patch that I uh, was like a hundred and something. And I didn't really have a capital that I wanted to invest in it when I had this one, but very cool. Like that one a lot. And we finally got me a Stephen Kwan. Stephen Kwan. Uh, I've looked at Marketplace and my Facebook groups for autos of him, and people were in the thirty-five to four dollar range. So I'm glad I could find him in a trade. So Stephen Kwan, very really good season this year. Didn't make the All Star game. I don't know if he just didn't come up in time. Um, but we'll see how he does in year two, year two in the MLB capstone. Very cool. So they always do good cards, especially this year was their first year, but their cards look sharp. So that was nice. And this was our last deal. So in this deal, I ended up making about $180. I think about that. I traded my Ben Roethlisberger from our Viewmont mall video that I got. I ended up uh, selling that away which was cool, and I traded up some nice, good-name players for some of these guys I did not have, like this player, uh, Landon Dickerson. Did not have him, a uh, young player. He was on the Eagles team. He was a pro bowler this year. Uh, Lyman, we like Lyman around here. Did not have him, so that was a cool one. Uh, this is from his son. He has His son had a collection who I bought from, Derek Stingley. I think I traded this, uh, and... Oh, I traded all my Chris Alaves. <laughs> I had some Chris Alaves from recent openings, and that was what the kid was PCing. And I gave him, you know, like five, six, seven Alaves for these two cards. Um, just cards I didn't have any need for, and just to help out a young collector, give him some cool PC stuff. So, But he gave me this uh, Stingley Jr. from Press Proof. So he does. And this Carlos Dunlap on card auto, which was pretty sweet. Um, you know, good defensive player. Numbered out of 299. Very cool. I think he was in third grade, fourth grade, uh, but he had some great cards too. But he liked Chris Olave, and we worked out this pretty good deal. Yep, and I ended up getting rid of my Ben Roethlisberger and walking away from trade night with some cash for our next card show. Our next card show is going to be the Collector's Fest. All right, that is next weekend. I'll videotape that. 
I might only bring a hundred or not hundred, probably two hundred dollars to that show. Just you know, give me that same challenge or looking for really players I just need instead of just buying to buy. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see what I can bring home. That will be a great video. I love Collectors Fest. But that is it for today. Thank you all for watching. This has an AZ Sports Cars, and I will see you all next time.